Hello and welcome to the another um, YouTube video um, on Power BI. Uh, this is uh, going to be interesting one. Uh, let me give you some one small background about this. So uh, I don't remember where this um, uh, question was posted on the forum. I don't have a link to it, but. Uh, so basically the ask here was, is um, we have a um, simple sales by date. Um, we have a fact table sales and then we have a calendar date. And uh, what user wanted to show us, so this is showing us the sales by um, uh, each date. And uh, hang on. So yeah, we have a sales by date. And um, so the, here is the selection month I have selected to April or March. So it's showing me the uh, sales by date. And the ask was is to show uh, a tool tape with the running total by month. And uh, this is a running total by month. So let's do that running total. Increase the size for my DAX. So running total by month. So what we're gonna have is so calculate ah our sales by year, which is pretty much is a um, sum of sales. Maybe what we can do is use dates MTD calendar date, and I think that will it so let's take a look so bring this measure in our matrix and table visual and uh, zero okay so yeah as you can uh, see uh, we have on March 1st 14,000 and running total of course 14 and then 17 17 plus 14 32 and so forth, so on 32 plus 10, 42, it's just working. So if I select uh, February, so I have a two months. So this is February 19, keep on growing, growing, growing. And um, when it switch over to March, it resets itself, right? 14,600. And so this, so February is 516,000. And then it starts uh, next month in March again. So it's great. It works fine. But um the, the ask here is not to show the running total in the matrix visual, but actually show as in a tooltip. Uh, so when user hover over a um, cell or a date, uh, and then it will show the running total up to that date. So usually a tooltip, we will create a custom tooltip page to make that happen. So let's add one quickly. Click here. And we can use running total by month as our KPI. Um, of course, it will. And then make the page setting to tooltip. Maybe page size as a tooltip. So this is in the format pane, in um, tooltip turn on. And then we can choose our tooltip page. So. That's it, so two tip should be there. So let's see how does it look like. So if I over over on um, date, so it's uh, 19,403 on the first. So I expect on the second date, I will see the total, which is perfect. All right, so as we saw with the month to date, with the dates and running total was pretty straightforward. So dates MTD, um, what it does is it remove the filter from the, um, from the date and then give us all the dates starting from the start of the month and till the, uh, the date we are at. And um, it, it works perfectly fine. And uh, we are getting the running total and tooltip. But here is um, the, the challenging part or the example we want to see here. So uh, the, uh, let me turn. What we want to do is it's a sales order and it has a sales order line number. And we want to have the running total per line number 
for that specific order. So for example, for this one, it has a three line items and we want a um, first line 2378 plus then $10 added to that and then the $5 added to that and then that will be the running total for that particular order and so forth so on. So it's, uh, let's start doing this and uh, write a, I already have a measure in here. So I'm gonna write calculate sales and then we want, there's no month to date and all that stuff in here. So what we need to do is we need to uh, remove filter, basically select all the line item, line numbers for that order and then get sales order line number is equal to max so sales order line number and that should do it so let's double check quickly so if I drop so okay here you go so I already had the measure in um, in the visual so 2378 on the first line $10 added it's 2388 $5 at 2393 and now comes the next order 51179 start from uh, you know the first line number 2504 2538 and 2542 so this works perfectly fine now as i said the ask here is to not to show the running total on the in the matrix visual itself but actually as in a tool tip so i'm gonna remove this from here and as we saw it is working fine and uh, i already created a tool tip page uh, where is a same thing running total by sales order number so i'm gonna on this visual i'm gonna set that as in a tool tip and of course duplicate of to the page and uh, and let's see so whenever we are on the first line uh, of the order so we get the 2378 but when we are on the second line ta -da! so what we have here is now there's no running total anymore it's giving us that total of that line number and if we go to line number three so we're getting the um, five dollars only not the running total of these three lines but if we drop this measure here, it works fine. The same measure, running total by sales order number, we used on tooltip, as you can see, and it is not working. So why is that is not working when we're using it in tooltip page, but uh, it is working in the matrix visual. So the, the way tooltip works is when we hover over anything and it goes to the tooltip page, it takes the keep all filters it turned on. So what does that mean is uh, the sales order number and the sales order line number get passed to the tooltip page and then this KPI get calculated based on that sales order number and the line number. So when we are on this particular line, so line number three, it is passing at uh, 51178 and line number three and and then there is it it, it only showing us uh, because that tooltip page is filtered on now this in the row context of this one the line number three sales order line number three for that particular sales order number so we are only getting we are only seeing a dollar five not the running total so what we need to do to, uh, we need to make our DAX. This is where it's, it's really interesting that it, it works fine here, but not on the tooltip page. So what we need to do is just a little tweak in our uh, measure here, and then it will start working. So instead of all selected, so all selected is, um, is basically in that context, whatever the rows are seen, uh, it, that's what the all selected is doing. So if when we go on a tooltip page, it's only see 51178 row, uh, order number and the line number three. So that's the all selected. And that's why we are just getting the row total, but not the running total. So what we need to do is we just need to see so this is where the uh, all selected and all comes in the picture and all these my, um, uh, DAX functions come in the picture. So basically what we're doing here is we're telling it to 
not use all selected but uh, all means remove the filter from the all the you know saves order line number not on the selected one and then that should i think pretty much it then that will do it so let's take a look so our sales order number is perfectly fair. here the running total is fine and uh, when we go to hover over to the next line and as you can see now the total is running no total is is working as expected so so what does it mean is when we were looking at the running total in the in this particular visual so when it was using the all selected so it was selecting all the um, um, sales order line number and then it worked fine in the matrix visual but when we were going in the tooltip page it only see there's only one row because the uh, as i said keep all filter is turned on and uh, so basically the sales order line number filter is coming in and also the line number uh, sales order number and sales order line number filters are coming in and the, that's the all selected and that's why we only see the sales for that particular row so when we changed our measure from all selected to all so when this row get passed on to the tooltip page because of the all all the um, fil filters are removed from the sales order line number and then uh, it, it can see all the um, sales order line number and then it gets us the running total and um, and we are only removing it from the sales order line number not from the sales order because we want the running total by uh, sales order number so basically um, if it was not a tooltip original measure using all selected worked fine and um, which is good but as soon as you want to use it as in a tooltip the same measure which work fine in the matrix visual now does not work anymore so so the fix here is instead of using all selected as right now as you can see it's not working and uh, we switched it to all and uh, um, this works perfectly fine and uh, that's our solution so um, so end of the day it's pretty straightforward change uh, basically what we did is just change all selected to all and uh, everything worked um, uh, I guess uh, you probably learned one or two things from this video and uh, um, I hope I able to share something interesting, something you learned. Uh, do put, you share your, uh, you know, your thoughts and put put it in a comment. And uh, also do reach out if you have any questions or any any your business problem you're trying to solve and just share with me in the comments or directly reach out to me, and um, I will try to make a video on that. So for now. Um, uh, again, Happy New Year. This is uh, January 1st, 2022 and looking forward to put more videos on uh, uh, similar to this like um, and uh, share the content with you guys and uh, looking forward for your valuable feedback and uh, how we can improve and uh, go from there. Take care. Have a good day. Bye now.